we as human beings have two distinct facets within us and depending on which one we identify with, which one we operate out of, we experience two very dissimilar opposing feelings. One aspect in us is constantly discontent, always agitated, deficient, insecure. But even as this discontent factor is playing upon us, there is something else in us which irrespective of what happens around in the world has the capacity to be always sada, they call it, satatam, nityam, these are the words they use, happy, content, abundant, irrespective of what the world has to offer, even in these times, when people are feeling insecure, when people are wondering what tomorrow holds for us, there is something in us which can always, always be happy. So, what is that in us which can make us happy? What is it that we need to keep steer clear of which makes us unhappy is the question. So, let's get back to the basics. The basics are that you and I consist of essentially two factors. What are these two factors? Matter and spirit. So when you identify with the matter layers in you, you are bound to be discontent. You will be depressed, you will be stressed. There is no escape from this. But at the same time, while your matter layers are operating in the world, while you are operating out of the matter layers, the spirit within you is supremely happy, chilled out. You know, youngsters particularly use this word all the time. Chill, chill, chill. Nobody is chilled. Because you are constantly focusing on the matter layers in you. So most look for happiness in material things. A few people go beyond and look for satisfaction with a partner, with a spouse, with a, an offspring. But somehow all of this seems to fall flat. And then at the end of it you feel cheated and say, well, what is this? I've invested so much of my time and effort and energies in building relationships, in acquiring wealth and at the end of it all to feel cheated is not good. So therefore, what can we do about it? The Bhagavad Gita has a solution for each and every one of us. Especially as Farid Zakaria said in Newsweek, in today's world, when we've got a wake-up call from hell, he calls it. When we've got a wake-up call from hell, what has happened at the end of the day is just desire gone haywire, gone completely out of control. 